I was also told that she has a Latino boyfriend down in Texas. I was also told that she has a Latino boyfriend down in Texas. I was also told that she has a Latino boyfriend down in Texas. Yes, in Houston. The problem is that Kate's not here at the moment. I sent her off to Guangzhou yesterday to try to sort out the mess we've got into with Minyu. I don't think she was very happy to leave at such short notice, and I doubt whether her boyfriend enjoyed spending another weekend without her. They only see one another at weekends, and that's not every weekend. Yes, in Houston. The problem is that Kate's not here at the moment. I sent her off to Guangzhou yesterday to try to sort out the mess we've got into with Minyu. I don't think she was very happy to leave at such short notice, and I doubt whether her boyfriend enjoyed spending another weekend without her. They only see one another at weekends, and that's not every weekend. Yes, in Houston. The problem is that Kate's not here at the moment. I sent her off to Guangzhou yesterday to try to sort out the mess we've got into with Minyu. I don't think she was very happy to leave at such short notice, and I doubt whether her boyfriend enjoyed spending another weekend without her. They only see one another at weekends, and that's not every weekend. When does she get back from China? When does she get back from China? When does she get back from China? By Friday, I would say. By Friday, I would say. By Friday, I would say. Okay, Russ. As soon as she gets back, you're going to send her down to San Antonio. And if she can negotiate a satisfactory agreement down there, give her a week off so that she can spend some time with her boyfriend. Okay, Russ. As soon as she gets back, you're going to send her down to San Antonio. And if she can negotiate a satisfactory agreement down there, give her a week off so that she can spend some time with her boyfriend. Okay, Russ. As soon as she gets back, you're going to send her down to San Antonio. And if she can negotiate a satisfactory agreement down there, give her a week off so that she can spend some time with her boyfriend.
Okay, Arn. I'll leave a message on her voicemail and ask her to get back to me. Okay, Arn. I'll leave a message on her voicemail and ask her to get back to me. Okay, Arn. I'll leave a message on her voicemail and ask her to get back to me. Comprehension 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 Does Russ answer the telephone immediately? Does Russ answer the telephone immediately? Does Russ answer the telephone immediately? No. He always lets it ring four times before answering. No. He always lets it ring four times before answering. No. He always lets it ring four times before answering. Why does the President of United Chocolate phone Russ? Why does the President of United Chocolate phone Russ? Why does the President of United Chocolate phone Russ? Arnold phones Russ to tell him about the problem in San Antonio. Arnold phones Russ to tell him about the problem in San Antonio. Arnold phones Russ to tell him about the problem in San Antonio. When are Arnold and Russ likely to play a round of golf together? When are Arnold and Russ likely to play a round of golf together? When are Arnold and Russ likely to play a round of golf together? From what Arnold says, we can assume that they are likely to play next week. From what Arnold says, we can assume that they are likely to play next week. From what Arnold says, we can assume that they are likely to play next week.
why his United Chocolate had to cut into about two acres of forest land. Why his United Chocolate had to cut into about two acres of forest land. Why his United Chocolate had to cut into about two acres of forest land. United Chocolate has had to do this because it is enlarging its production unit in San Antonio in order to increase capacity. United Chocolate has had to do this because it is enlarging its production unit in San Antonio in order to increase capacity. United Chocolate has had to do this because it is enlarging its production unit in San Antonio in order to increase capacity. Why does the woodland in question have historical significance for the Latino population? Why does the woodland in question have historical significance for the Latino population? Why does the woodland in question have historical significance for the Latino population? It has historical significance because it was the site of a Mexican army camp during the Battle of the Alamo. It has historical significance because it was the site of a Mexican army camp during the Battle of the Alamo. It has historical significance because it was the site of a Mexican army camp during the Battle of the Alamo. For what reason are the conservationists and the Native Americans supporting the Latinos? For what reason are the conservationists and the Native Americans supporting the Latinos? For what reason are the conservationists and the Native Americans supporting the Latinos? The conservationists and the Native Americans are supporting the Latinos because they too disapprove of the planned enlargement of UC's San Antonio production unit and therefore support the call for a boycott. The conservationists and the Native Americans are supporting the Latinos because they too disapprove of the planned enlargement of UC's San Antonio production unit and therefore support the call for a boycott. The conservationists and the Native Americans are supporting the Latinos because they too disapprove of the planned enlargement of UC's San Antonio production unit and therefore support the call for a boycott.
Whom does Arnold want to send to San Antonio? Whom does Arnold want to send to San Antonio? Whom does Arnold want to send to San Antonio? Arnold wants to send Kate to San Antonio to try and sort things out, as he puts it. Arnold wants to send Kate to San Antonio to try and sort things out, as he puts it. Arnold wants to send Kate to San Antonio to try and sort things out, as he puts it. Would you say that Russ is optimistic about Kate's career prospects? Would you say that Russ is optimistic about Kate's career prospects? Would you say that Russ is optimistic about Kate's career prospects? Yes, he seems very optimistic because he speaks very highly of Kate and says she will go a long way. Yes, he seems very optimistic because he speaks very highly of Kate and says she will go a long way. Yes, he seems very optimistic because he speaks very highly of Kate and says she will go a long way. According to Russ, was Kate happy to go to China on business? According to Russ, was Kate happy to go to China on business? According to Russ, was Kate happy to go to China on business? Russ says he doesn't think she was very happy to leave at such short notice. Russ says he doesn't think she was very happy to leave at such short notice. Russ says he doesn't think she was very happy to leave at such short notice. What would be Kate's reward if she is able to negotiate a satisfactory agreement in San Antonio? What would be Kate's reward if she is able to negotiate a satisfactory agreement in San Antonio? What would be Kate's reward if she is able to negotiate a satisfactory agreement in San Antonio? Arnold says that if she is able to negotiate a satisfactory agreement in San Antonio, Russ can give her a week off work. 
Arnold says that if she is able to negotiate a satisfactory agreement in San Antonio, Russ can give her a week off work. Arnold says that if she is able to negotiate a satisfactory agreement in San Antonio, Russ can give her a week off work. Chapter 44 Chapter 44 Chapter 44 Making Decisions Making Decisions Making Decisions After her successful handling of the crisis down in San Antonio, caused by the enlargement of United Chocolate's production plant, Kate is very happy to take advantage of the week's vacation which UC's president promised her. Carlos is able to take a few days off too, and they spend their time in San Antonio and Houston, making some important decisions about their future. Kate calls her mother. After her successful handling of the crisis down in San Antonio, caused by the enlargement of United Chocolate's production plant, Kate is very happy to take advantage of the week's vacation which UC's president promised her. Carlos is able to take a few days off too, and they spend their time in San Antonio and Houston, making some important decisions about their future. Kate calls her mother. After her successful handling of the crisis down in San Antonio, caused by the enlargement of United Chocolate's production plant, Kate is very happy to take advantage of the week's vacation which UC's president promised her. Carlos is able to take a few days off too, and they spend their time in San Antonio and Houston, making some important decisions about their future. Kate calls her mother. Hello, is that you, Mum? Hello, is that you, Mum? Hello, is that you, Mum? Hello, Kate. How wonderful to hear from you. Where are you? Hello, Kate. How wonderful to hear from you. Where are you? Hello, Kate. How wonderful to hear from you. Where are you?
I'm in Houston with Carlos. They gave me a week off work. I'm in Houston with Carlos. They gave me a week off work. I'm in Houston with Carlos. They gave me a week off work. A week off work? Are you ill or something? A week off work? Are you ill or something? A week off work? Are you ill or something? Well, I am exhausted, if you can call that being ill. Getting sick of living in the fast lane. As soon as I got back from Guangzhou, literally, I had to fly to San Antonio to sort out some mess down here. Well, I am exhausted, if you can call that being ill. Getting sick of living in the fast lane. As soon as I got back from Guangzhou, literally, I had to fly to San Antonio to sort out some mess down here. Well, I am exhausted, if you can call that being ill. Getting sick of living in the fast lane. As soon as I got back from Guangzhou, literally, I had to fly to San Antonio to sort out some mess down here. I'm not surprised you're exhausted, Kate, with all the travelling you do. One day China, the next Texas. I'm not surprised you're exhausted, Kate, with all the travelling you do. One day China, the next Texas. I'm not surprised you're exhausted, Kate, with all the travelling you do. One day China, the next Texas. You sound like Carlos, Mum. He's always on at me too. Said our relationship was beginning to resemble a business merger. You sound like Carlos, Mum. He's always on at me too. Said our relationship was beginning to resemble a business merger. You sound like Carlos, Mum. He's always on at me too. Said our relationship was beginning to resemble a business merger. Well, I don't blame him, poor darling. He hardly ever sees you after all. Well, I don't blame him, poor darling. He hardly ever sees you after all. Well, I don't blame him, poor darling. He hardly ever sees you after all. Anyway, we've made some decisions. Mm. Anyway, we've made some decisions.
Mm. Anyway, we've made some decisions. So? 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 I was offered a job in England with Norfolk Chocolate in Norwich. I was offered a job in England with Norfolk Chocolate in Norwich. I was offered a job in England with Norfolk Chocolate in Norwich. And have you accepted? And have you accepted? And have you accepted? Well, I couldn't really refuse, could I? It's the post of Acting Managing Director. Well, I couldn't really refuse, could I? It's the post of Acting Managing Director. Well, I couldn't really refuse, could I? It's the post of Acting Managing Director. Wow, Kate, that's brilliant. Fantastic. Your dad will be delighted, not to mention Ben. He misses you a lot, you know. Wow, Kate, that's brilliant. Fantastic. Your dad will be delighted, not to mention Ben. He misses you a lot, you know. Wow, Kate, that's brilliant. Fantastic. Your dad will be delighted, not to mention Ben. He misses you a lot, you know. I miss him too, Mum. I miss him too, Mum. I miss him too, Mum. And what will Carlos do then? And what will Carlos do then? And what will Carlos do then? He's coming with me, of course. Isn't that sweet of him? He's coming with me, of course. Isn't that sweet of him? He's coming with me, of course. Isn't that sweet of him? It really is. 
You're a very lucky girl. Does he have a job to go to? It really is. You're a very lucky girl. Does he have a job to go to? It really is. You're a very lucky girl. Does he have a job to go to? No, not yet. But we're not worried about that. With his experience, he's bound to find something. No, not yet. But we're not worried about that. With his experience, he's bound to find something. No, not yet. But we're not worried about that. With his experience, he's bound to find something. Hmm. So when are you coming over? Hmm. So when are you coming over? Hmm. So when are you coming over? Well, there's nothing certain yet. We both need to speak to our bosses on Monday, but I'd say within a couple of weeks at the most. They want me to take over in Norwich as soon as possible. Well, there's nothing certain yet. We both need to speak to our bosses on Monday, but I'd say within a couple of weeks at the most. They want me to take over in Norwich as soon as possible. Well, there's nothing certain yet. We both need to speak to our bosses on Monday, but I'd say within a couple of weeks at the most. They want me to take over in Norwich as soon as possible. You'll let us know when everything's been decided, won't you, love? You'll let us know when everything's been decided, won't you, love? You'll let us know when everything's been decided, won't you, love? Of course I will, Mum. Of course I will, Mum. Of course I will, Mum. We'll drive down and pick you up at the airport. We'll drive down and pick you up at the airport. We'll drive down and pick you up at the airport. That would be lovely. By the way, there's something else I was going to tell you. That would be lovely. By the way, there's something else I was going to tell you.
That would be lovely. By the way, there's something else I was going to tell you. Yes, what was that? Yes, what was that? Yes, what was that? We've decided to get married. We've decided to get married. We've decided to get married. Oh, Kate, I'm so thrilled. That's wonderful news. Do you know when yet? Oh, Kate, I'm so thrilled. That's wonderful news. Do you know when yet? Oh, Kate, I'm so thrilled. That's wonderful news. Do you know when yet? Not really, but as soon as we get settled down in England. Not really, but as soon as we get settled down in England. Not really, but as soon as we get settled down in England. Comprehension. 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 Why does Kate call her mother during her week off? Why does Kate call her mother during her week off? Why does Kate call her mother during her week off? Kate calls her mother to announce two important decisions to her. Firstly, that she has been offered a job with Norfolk Chocolate in Norwich, and secondly, that she and Carlos are going to get married. Kate calls her mother to announce two important decisions to her. Firstly, that she has been offered a job with Norfolk Chocolate in Norwich, and secondly, that she and Carlos are going to get married. Kate calls her mother to announce two important decisions to her. Firstly, that she has been offered a job with Norfolk Chocolate in Norwich, and secondly, that she and Carlos are going to get married. Why do you think Mrs Hewitt asks her daughter whether she is ill? Why do you think Mrs. Hewitt asks her daughter whether she is ill?
Why do you think Mrs. Hewitt asks her daughter whether she is ill? Mrs. Hewitt is probably surprised that her daughter has a week off because she is used to Kate working all the time and consequently asks, no doubt teasingly, whether she's ill. Mrs. Hewitt is probably surprised that her daughter has a week off because she is used to Kate working all the time and consequently asks, no doubt teasingly, whether she's ill. Mrs. Hewitt is probably surprised that her daughter has a week off because she is used to Kate working all the time and consequently asks, no doubt teasingly, whether she's ill. Why is Kate exhausted, according to her mother? Why is Kate exhausted? according to her mother. Why is Kate exhausted, according to her mother? Kate's mother tells her daughter that it's not surprising she's exhausted with all the travelling she does – China, Texas, etc. Kate's mother tells her daughter that it's not surprising she's exhausted with all the travelling she does – China, Texas, etc. Kate's mother tells her daughter that it's not surprising she's exhausted with all the travelling she does – China, Texas, etc. Why do you think that Kate says her mother sounds like Carlos? Why do you think that Kate says her mother sounds like Carlos? Why do you think that Kate says her mother sounds like Carlos? Because her mother is going on at her about doing too much travelling and Kate says that Carlos is always doing the same thing. Because her mother is going on at her about doing too much travelling and Kate says that Carlos is always doing the same thing. Because her mother is going on at her about doing too much travelling and Kate says that Carlos is always doing the same thing. What have Kate and Carlos been doing in San Antonio and Houston during the time they've spent together? What have Kate and Carlos been doing in San Antonio and Houston during the time they've spent together? What have Kate and Carlos been doing in San Antonio and Houston during the time they've spent together?
Kate and Carlos have obviously been discussing their future, perhaps with Carlos's parents too, in San Antonio. They've also been making some important decisions about Kate's job offer and their future together. Kate and Carlos have obviously been discussing their future, perhaps with Carlos's parents too, in San Antonio. They've also been making some important decisions about Kate's job offer and their future together. Kate and Carlos have obviously been discussing their future, perhaps with Carlos's parents too, in San Antonio. They've also been making some important decisions about Kate's job offer and their future together. Why does Mrs Hewitt say that her daughter is a very lucky girl? Why does Mrs Hewitt say that her daughter is a very lucky girl? Why does Mrs Hewitt say that her daughter is a very lucky girl? Mrs Hewitt says Kate is a very lucky girl because Carlos has been very sweet in accepting to go to England with her. Mrs Hewitt says Kate is a very lucky girl because Carlos has been very sweet in accepting to go to England with her. Mrs Hewitt says Kate is a very lucky girl because Carlos has been very sweet in accepting to go to England with her. Has Carlos found a job in Norwich too? Has Carlos found a job in Norwich too? Has Carlos found a job in Norwich too? Not yet, but Kate and Carlos aren't worried about that because of his experience, as Kate says. Not yet, but Kate and Carlos aren't worried about that because of his experience, as Kate says. Not yet, but Kate and Carlos aren't worried about that because of his experience, as Kate says. When will Kate probably take over at Norfolk Chocolate? When will Kate probably take over at Norfolk Chocolate? When will Kate probably take over at Norfolk Chocolate? Kate says that they want her to take over as soon as possible, but nothing has been decided yet. She says that it will probably be within a couple of weeks at the most. Kate says that they want her to take over as soon as possible, but nothing has been decided yet. She says that it will probably be within a couple of weeks at the most.
Kate says that they want her to take over as soon as possible, but nothing has been decided yet. She says that it will probably be within a couple of weeks at the most. According to Mrs. Hewitt, what will the family do when Kate and Carlos arrive in England? According to Mrs. Hewitt, what will the family do when Kate and Carlos arrive in England? According to Mrs. Hewitt, what will the family do when Kate and Carlos arrive in England? Mrs. Hewitt says that they, the family, will drive down and pick Kate and Carlos up at the airport. Mrs. Hewitt says that they, the family, will drive down and pick Kate and Carlos up at the airport. Mrs. Hewitt says that they, the family, will drive down and pick Kate and Carlos up at the airport. When will Kate and Carlos be getting married? When will Kate and Carlos be getting married? When will Kate and Carlos be getting married? Kate says that she doesn't really know yet, but it will be as soon as they get settled down in England. Kate says that she doesn't really know yet, but it will be as soon as they get settled down in England. Kate says that she doesn't really know yet, but it will be as soon as they get settled down in England. Chapter 45 Chapter 45 Chapter 45 Back in the UK Back in the UK Back in the UK Kate is flying back to the UK with Carlos, having decided to accept Alexander Spencer Jones's offer to take over, temporarily at least, at Norfolk Chocolate. Kate is reading the airline magazine. Carlos is reading the Wall Street Journal. Kate is flying back to the UK with Carlos, having decided to accept Alexander Spencer Jones's offer to take over, temporarily at least, at Norfolk Chocolate. Kate is reading the airline magazine. Carlos is reading the Wall Street Journal.
Kate is flying back to the UK with Carlos. Having decided to accept Alexander Spencer Jones's offer to take over, temporarily at least, at Norfolk Chocolate. Kate is reading the airline magazine. Carlos is reading the Wall Street Journal. Hey, honey, look at this. There's an article about United Chocolate. Hey, honey, look at this. There's an article about United Chocolate. Hey, honey, look at this. There's an article about United Chocolate. Oh, yes? What does it say? Oh, yes? What does it say? Oh, yes? What does it say? It's about the extension to the San Antonio production plant and the Latinos threaten boycott. Hey, listen to this. You see, dispatched a young negotiator believed to be English from Philadelphia. It's about the extension to the San Antonio production plant and the Latinos threaten boycott. Hey, listen to this. You see, dispatched a young negotiator believed to be English from Philadelphia. It's about the extension to the San Antonio production plant and the Latinos threaten boycott. Hey, listen to this. You see, dispatched a young negotiator believed to be English from Philadelphia. Believed to be English? What a nice way of putting it. Believed to be English. What a nice way of putting it. Believed to be English. What a nice way of putting it. Well, you are English, aren't you? And you're going back to England. You should be pleased. Well, you are English, aren't you? And you're going back to England. You should be pleased. Well, you are English, aren't you? And you're going back to England, you should be pleased. But I am pleased, of course. And what pleases me more than anything else is the fact that you're coming with me. But I am pleased, of course. And what pleases me more than anything else is the fact that you're coming with me.
but I am pleased, of course. And what pleases me more than anything else is the fact that you're coming with me. I guess I was ready for a change, Kate. Houston is such a crazy place to live. And an oil firm is a crazy place to work, too, with the constant ups and downs in oil prices. I guess I was ready for a change, Kate. Houston is such a crazy place to live. And an oil firm is a crazy place to work, too, with the constant ups and downs in oil prices. I guess I was ready for a change, Kate. Houston is such a crazy place to live. And an oil firm is a crazy place to work, too, with the constant ups and downs in oil prices. So you won't be looking for a job in the petroleum industry? So you won't be looking for a job in the petroleum industry? So you won't be looking for a job in the petroleum industry? I doubt it very much. I really don't know what I'll be able to do. I doubt it very much. I really don't know what I'll be able to do. I doubt it very much. I really don't know what I'll be able to do. Come and work at Norfolk Chocolate. I'm certainly going to need some expert financial analysis. It's not my speciality, as you know. Come and work at Norfolk Chocolate. I'm certainly going to need some expert financial analysis. It's not my speciality, as you know. Come and work at Norfolk Chocolate. I'm certainly going to need some expert financial analysis. It's not my speciality, as you know. You know I would never come and work in your company. You'd be accused of nepotism, and that would damage your credibility. But I'd be happy to give you some expert advice, on a strictly unofficial basis, of course. You know I would never come and work in your company. You'd be accused of nepotism, and that would damage your credibility. But I'd be happy to give you some expert advice. On a strictly unofficial basis, of course. You know I would never come and work in your company. You'd be accused of nepotism, and that would damage your credibility. But I'd be happy to give you some expert advice, on a strictly unofficial basis, of course.
Thanks for the offer. Thanks for the offer. Thanks for the offer. How far is Norwich from London, by the way? How far is Norwich from London, by the way? How far is Norwich from London, by the way? I don't know. About 120 miles, I suppose. I don't know. About 120 miles, I suppose. I don't know. About 120 miles, I suppose. Not that far, then. Not that far, then. Not that far, then. Oh, come on, Carlos. We're talking about England, not Texas. You certainly wouldn't be able to commute. But there are other firms in the area, and it's not that far from Cambridge. There are lots of very dynamic high-tech firms that have grown up round the university. They call it Silicon Fen. Oh, come on, Carlos. We're talking about England, not Texas. You certainly wouldn't be able to commute. But there are other firms in the area, and it's not that far from Cambridge. There are lots of very dynamic high-tech firms that have grown up round the university. They call it Silicon Fen. Oh, come on, Carlos. We're talking about England, not Texas. You certainly wouldn't be able to commute. But there are other firms in the area, and it's not that far from Cambridge. There are lots of very dynamic high-tech firms that have grown up round the university. They call it Silicon Fen. Silicon Fen? What on earth is a fen? Silicon fen? What on earth is a fen? Silicon fen? What on earth is a fen? Oh, you'll see when you're over there. Oh, you'll see when you're over there. Oh, you'll see when you're over there.
Anyway, there's no big hurry to find a job given the salary that United Chocolate will be paying you. Anyway, there's no big hurry to find a job given the salary that United Chocolate will be paying you. Anyway, there's no big hurry to find a job given the salary that United Chocolate will be paying you. Have you ever thought about starting your own consulting firm? That way you could work from home. Have you ever thought about starting your own consulting firm? That way you could work from home. Have you ever thought about starting your own consulting firm? That way you could work from home. I've never thought seriously about it. It didn't seem like a good idea to me in Houston. But why not? I'll certainly give it some thought. I've never thought seriously about it. It didn't seem like a good idea to me in Houston. But why not? I'll certainly give it some thought. I've never thought seriously about it. It didn't seem like a good idea to me in Houston. But why not? I'll certainly give it some thought. <sighs> I think I'm going to watch one of the movies. What about you? <sighs> I think I'm going to watch one of the movies. What about you? <sighs> I think I'm going to watch one of the movies. What about you? I'm not crazy about in-flight entertainment. The screen is too small. The sound is awful. I think I'll just try and get some sleep. How long is it before we arrive at Heathrow? I'm not crazy about in-flight entertainment. The screen is too small. The sound is awful. I think I'll just try and get some sleep. How long is it before we arrive at Heathrow? I'm not crazy about in-flight entertainment. The screen is too small. The sound is awful. I think I'll just try and get some sleep. How long is it before we arrive at Heathrow? Another six or seven hours at least. It's not that long ago since we left DFW. I bet we aren't even over the Atlantic yet. Another six or seven hours at least. It's not that long ago since we left DFW. I bet we aren't even over the Atlantic yet.
Another six or seven hours at least. It's not that long ago since we left DFW. I bet we aren't even over the Atlantic yet. Comprehension 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 Why are Kate and Carlos flying back to the UK? Why are Kate and Carlos flying back to the UK? Why are Kate and Carlos flying back to the UK? They are flying back to the UK because Kate has decided to accept Alexander Spencer Jones's offer to take over at Norfolk Chocolate. They are flying back to the UK because Kate has decided to accept Alexander Spencer Jones's offer to take over at Norfolk Chocolate. They are flying back to the UK because Kate has decided to accept Alexander Spencer Jones's offer to take over at Norfolk Chocolate. What has Carlos found in the Wall Street Journal that he wants to show to Kate? What has Carlos found in the Wall Street Journal that he wants to show to Kate? What has Carlos found in the Wall Street Journal that he wants to show to Kate? Carlos has found an article about United Chocolate. It talks about the extension to the San Antonio production plant and the Latinos' threatened boycott, and it mentions Kate, the young negotiator. Carlos has found an article about United Chocolate. It talks about the extension to the San Antonio production plant and the Latinos' threatened boycott, and it mentions Kate, the young negotiator. Carlos has found an article about United Chocolate. It talks about the extension to the San Antonio production plant and the Latinos' threatened boycott, and it mentions Kate, the young negotiator. What makes this return to England particularly pleasant for Kate? What makes this return to England particularly pleasant for Kate? What makes this return to England particularly pleasant for Kate? Kate says that she's pleased first and foremost that Carlos is going with her. Kate says that she's pleased first and foremost that Carlos is going with her.
Kate says that she's pleased first and foremost that Carlos is going with her. Why does Carlos say he was ready for a change? Why does Carlos say he was ready for a change? Why does Carlos say he was ready for a change? He says he was ready for a change because Houston was a crazy place to live and that an oil firm was a crazy place to work. He says he was ready for a change because Houston was a crazy place to live and that an oil firm was a crazy place to work. He says he was ready for a change because Houston was a crazy place to live and that an oil firm was a crazy place to work. Is it likely that Carlos will look for a job in the oil industry in the UK? Is it likely that Carlos will look for a job in the oil industry in the UK? Is it likely that Carlos will look for a job in the oil industry in the UK? We can assume it is very unlikely. He says, I doubt it very much. We can assume it is very unlikely. He says, I doubt it very much. We can assume it is very unlikely. He says, I doubt it very much. According to Carlos, why would he never go and work for Norfolk Chocolate? According to Carlos, why would he never go and work for Norfolk Chocolate? According to Carlos, why would he never go and work for Norfolk Chocolate? Because he describes Norfolk Chocolate as Kate's company and says that she would be accused of nepotism, which would damage her credibility. Because he describes Norfolk Chocolate as Kate's company and says that she would be accused of nepotism, which would damage her credibility. Because he describes Norfolk Chocolate as Kate's company and says that she would be accused of nepotism, which would damage her credibility. Does Kate think that it will be possible for Carlos to find another job in the Norwich area? Does Kate think that it will be possible for Carlos to find another job in the Norwich area?
Does Kate think that it will be possible for Carlos to find another job in the Norwich area? Yes, she does. She says that there are other firms in the area. She also says that Cambridge, where there are lots of very dynamic high-tech firms that have grown up around the university, is not far away. Yes, she does. She says that there are other firms in the area. She also says that Cambridge, where there are lots of very dynamic high-tech firms that have grown up around the university, is not far away. Yes, she does. She says that there are other firms in the area. She also says that Cambridge, where there are lots of very dynamic high-tech firms that have grown up around the university, is not far away. Why does Carlos say that he's in no hurry to find a new job? Why does Carlos say that he's in no hurry to find a new job? Why does Carlos say that he's in no hurry to find a new job? He refers to the salary Kate will be earning in her new position. In other words, they won't have any problems financially. He refers to the salary Kate will be earning in her new position. In other words, they won't have any problems financially. He refers to the salary Kate will be earning in her new position. In other words, they won't have any problems financially. What other suggestion does Kate make to Carlos about working when they're in Norwich? What other suggestion does Kate make to Carlos about working when they're in Norwich. What other suggestion does Kate make to Carlos about working when they're in Norwich? Kate suggests that Carlos might start his own consulting firm and work from home. Kate suggests that Carlos might start his own consulting firm and work from home. Kate suggests that Carlos might start his own consulting firm and work from home. Why does Carlos not want to watch one of the movies on the plane, as Kate intends to do? Why does Carlos not want to watch one of the movies on the plane, as Kate intends to do?
Why does Carlos not want to watch one of the movies on the plane, as Kate intends to do? He explains that he doesn't like in-flight entertainment too much because the screen is too small and the sound is awful. He explains that he doesn't like in-flight entertainment too much because the screen is too small and the sound is awful. He explains that he doesn't like in-flight entertainment too much because the screen is too small and the sound is awful. Chapter 46 Chapter 46 Chapter 46 Analyzing the company's accounts. Analyzing the company's accounts. Analyzing the company's accounts. Kate has spent her first weekend back in the UK studying in great detail the accounts of Norfolk Chocolate, going back as far as the takeover by United Chocolate PLC. She was delighted to be able to rely on the expertise of Carlos. It is now Monday morning and she is meeting with Bill Haywood, the plant manager. Kate has spent her first weekend back in the UK studying in great detail the accounts of Norfolk Chocolate going back as far as the takeover by United Chocolate PLC. She was delighted to be able to rely on the expertise of Carlos. It is now Monday morning and she is meeting with Bill Haywood, the plant manager. Kate has spent her first weekend back in the UK studying in great detail the accounts of Norfolk Chocolate, going back as far as the takeover by United Chocolate PLC. She was delighted to be able to rely on the expertise of Carlos. It is now Monday morning and she is meeting with Bill Haywood, the plant manager. So, Kate, I hope you didn't have too much difficulty understanding the accounts. I expect you're used more to the American way of presenting them now. So, Kate, I hope you didn't have too much difficulty understanding the accounts. I expect you're used more to the American way of presenting them now. So, oh, Kate, I hope you didn't have too much difficulty understanding the accounts. I expect you're used more to the American way of presenting them now.
You're referring to US GAAP, I suppose. You're referring to US GAAP, I suppose. You're referring to US GAAP, I suppose. Exactly. In the UK, we've been using IFRS since 2005. There are still some differences, as you probably know, even though the SEC recently announced that US corporations will be required to use IFRS starting in 2014. Exactly. In the UK, we've been using IFRS since 2005. There are still some differences, as you probably know, even though the SEC recently announced that US corporations will be required to use IFRS starting in 2014. Exactly. In the UK, we've been using IFRS since 2005. There are still some differences, as you probably know, even though the SEC recently announced that US corporations will be required to use IFRS starting in 2014. and that there will be a mandatory two-year period between 2012 and 2014 when they'll have to present their accounts in both GAAP and IFRS. And that there will be a mandatory two-year period between 2012 and 2014 when they'll have to present their accounts in both GAAP and IFRS. and that there will be a mandatory two-year period between 2012 and 2014 when they'll have to present their accounts in both GAAP and IFRS. I'm impressed, Kate. You seem to be quite an expert. I'm impressed, Kate. You seem to be quite an expert. I'm impressed, Kate. You seem to be quite an expert. No, Bill, not me. The expert is Carlos. No, Bill, not me. The expert is Carlos. No, Bill, not me. The expert is Carlos. Carlos? Carlos? Carlos?
sorry, my boyfriend. He's a financial specialist. Of course, I studied accounting at university, but to be perfectly honest, it was never my strong point. I've always been more interested in marketing. It sounds as though you know everything about accounting. Sorry, my boyfriend. He's a financial specialist. Of course, I studied accounting at university, but to be perfectly honest, it was never my strong point. I've always been more interested in marketing. It sounds as though you know everything about accounting. Sorry, my boyfriend. He's a financial specialist. Of course, I studied accounting at university, but to be perfectly honest, it was never my strong point. I've always been more interested in marketing. It sounds as though you know everything about accounting. My passion was always engineering. But you'll discover that when you occupy a general management position, you can't avoid accounting, even if you have a specialist to fall back on. My passion was always engineering. But you'll discover that when you occupy a general management position, you can't avoid accounting, even if you have a specialist to fall back on. My passion was always engineering. But you'll discover that when you occupy a general management position, you can't avoid accounting, even if you have a specialist to fall back on. Yes. As you can imagine, I showed him all the balance sheets and income statements, and he gave me lots of explanations, and a lot of opinions too. I hope that's not a problem. Yes. As you can imagine, I showed him all the balance sheets and income statements, and he gave me lots of explanations, and a lot of opinions too. I hope that's not a problem. Yes. As you can imagine, I showed him all the balance sheets and income statements, and he gave me lots of explanations, and a lot of opinions too. I hope that's not a problem. Certainly not. UC publishes its financial statements in its annual report, as you know. Certainly not. UC publishes its financial statements in its annual report, as you know. Certainly not. UC publishes its financial statements in its annual report, as you know. Of course. By the way, Bill, was it you who prepared the accounts? Of course. By the way, Bill, was it you who prepared the accounts?
Of course. By the way, Bill, was it you who prepared the accounts? No, it was David Costa, our chief accountant. He does all our bookkeeping and prepares the accounts for United Chocolate. Obviously, the parent company consolidates the accounts of its subsidiaries. No, it was David Costa, our chief accountant. He does all our bookkeeping and prepares the accounts for United Chocolate. Obviously, the parent company consolidates the accounts of its subsidiaries. No, it was David Costa, our chief accountant. He does all our bookkeeping and prepares the accounts for United Chocolate. Obviously, the parent company consolidates the accounts of its subsidiaries. Mmm. So David is still here? Mmm. So David is still here? Mmm. So David is still here? He most certainly is. Do you remember him? He most certainly is. Do you remember him? He most certainly is. Do you remember him? Very well, but Christopher Vincent left. Very well, but Christopher Vincent left. Very well, but Christopher Vincent left. Yes, he got the chance to return to the drinks industry, which was what he'd always wanted, and he jumped at it. Yes, he got the chance to return to the drinks industry, which was what he'd always wanted, and he jumped at it. Yes. He got the chance to return to the drinks industry, which was what he'd always wanted, and he jumped at it. I can imagine. Chocolate was never really his passion. Hmm. Anyway, let's get back to business. I can imagine. Chocolate was never really his passion. Hmm. Anyway, let's get back to business. I can imagine. Chocolate was never really his passion. Hmm. Anyway, let's get back to business. So, what did Carlos think of our financial situation? 
So, what did Carlos think of our financial situation? So, what did Carlos think of our financial situation? Well, to sum things up, I would say that he stressed three things. First of all, the lack of investment by United Chocolate from the very beginning. Secondly, the decline in last year's turnover compared with the previous year. And thirdly, the gradual decrease in net profit in recent years. Well, to sum things up, I would say that he stressed three things. First of all, the lack of investment by United Chocolate from the very beginning. Secondly, the decline in last year's turnover compared with the previous year. And thirdly, the gradual decrease in net profit in recent years. Well, to sum things up, I would say that he stressed three things. First of all, the lack of investment by United Chocolate from the very beginning. Secondly, the decline in last year's turnover compared with the previous year. And thirdly, the gradual decrease in net profit in recent years. I'd say that Carlos is right on target. Those are the very issues we have to address, but we, sorry, you, Kate, can only do that by making some important strategic decisions. I'd say that Carlos is right on target. Those are the very issues we have to address, but we, sorry, you, Kate, can only do that by making some important strategic decisions. I'd say that Carlos is right on target. Those are the very issues we have to address, but we, sorry, you, Kate, can only do that by making some important strategic decisions.